Welcome to DouglasCountyDigest.com and today we're talking a little bit about our local features here in the area for our tours and that's Rock Home Gardens. One of the special highlights that I particularly enjoy about Rock Home is the restaurant. The restaurant was under different management and ownership until this year. It fell back under Rock Home and is now managed by Dave and Linda Miller. I'd like to introduce to you today Linda Miller, who's going to be speaking with us about some of the features of the restaurant. Linda, I want you to tell us a little bit about why you and Dave decided to take on this big venture of the Rock Home Restaurant. Just been dreaming about it for several years and finally decided to jump into it and uh, we were looking around for a restaurant to own or run or something and this came up so we decided to give it a whirl. Uh, tell us a little bit then about um, what is so unique about Rock Home Restaurant. What entices people to come here? Um, a lot of people enjoy the just the atmosphere. It's a pleasant, calm, peaceful atmosphere um, where they can, you know, listen to some bluegrass music in the background. There's always a pleasant view. There's, and of course, last but not least, the good food. We. We try to make everything from scratch for the most part. It's good down-home cooking. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the features that you have on your buffet. Well, actually we just started um, on Mondays and Tuesdays. We, we started ha serving just the menu. Every day we have a different, we feature a different um, meat. We always feature our fried chicken, which everybody loves. Yes. Um, and then we, um, Mondays we like to serve our ham loaf, um, Tuesdays is turkey, uh, Wednesdays we have an amazing brisket, um, pulled pork on Thursdays, of course fish on Friday, got to have those fish, and then on Saturdays we have a really good grilled chicken, um, and Sundays we serve my mom's meatloaf. Oh, so. perfect. So uh, you are uh, definitely open for uh, not only individuals or families to come in, but do you do any uh, parties or groups or anything like that? We do, just last week we had a group of 45 come in. Um, they had made a reservation and so we accommodated them. We, we do all kinds of um, groups and you know parties. I especially would like to um, get into hosting some Christmas parties. Other years in the past, they were always, they closed um, when the park was closed at the end of the season. And so we were hoping to keep the restaurant open. The park is open from Wednesday through Sunday. Mm -hmm. But obviously with your seven day menu, you're not. Right. So what are your hours then? We are open from 11 to seven every day except Sunday we open from 10 to 5. And then do I have to be in Rock Home to get to the restaurant? No, no. You can actually come in and just enjoy our great food. So then do I need a reservation to come into the Rock Home restaurant? We actually don't recommend reservations for groups under 15. Um, for the most part we can accommodate them without any glitches. Um, it's, you know, Sometimes you need a couple of tables to push together for bigger groups and so it's nice for the bigger groups if you can make the reservations but anything under 15 is usually not a problem. So if I brought in a big group on a tour of Rock Home, I should also contact you as well? That might be good or let them know at the office that you'd like to make a reservation at for here. Yeah. Okay. And give us some kind of contact information then. What do you have, phone number and website? We have, you can contact us by phone number at 268-4212. Um, okay. And so with the restaurant, I'm sure that you correlate uh, a lot of your traffic with the, the garden itself, mm -hmm. with Rock Home. Uh, what is the next big event then that's coming into town? The next big event is probably going to be the Bluegrass Festival, which is August 16th and 17th. Excellent. A lot of bluegrass music and excellent mm -hmm. fun times mm -hmm. for that. Uh, thank you for having Rock Home Restaurant and keeping the tradition alive. And thank you for interviewing with us today. Thank you. You're welcome.